day. Welcome to the Sean Farrell podcast. I am Sean Farrell. God is great all the time. All the time, God is great. Let's not waste no time. Let's get right right to it. So, um, alternatives to self-harm, okay? Um, This is just a few of them. Um, You can scream into a pillow, holding an ice cube in your hand and squeezing it, going out side and running as fast as you can having a cold shower aggressively drawn on paper aggressively tearing up paper listening to music and dancing intensely drawing on yourself using a red ink pen um <clears throat> so those are just a few of uh, alternatives to self-harm um No, for me, um, alternative, my alternative self harm can be like um, bringing you videos, um, playing video games, um, watching classic basketball games, lifting weights, um, doing push ups. Um, Yeah, so those are some, yeah, so those are just some of my, um, alternatives to self-harm. Um, you can do things like, um, tearing up a phone book, um, taking a walk out outside, um, listening to music. Um, if you have a, um, punching bag, if you have a punching bag, you can... (laughs) To the punching bag. Um, <clears throat> that's something that I uh, deal with when I, I was younger. Self-harm. Okay. My response to everything was. Well, not everything, but some of my responses to stressful situations I was facing was self-harm. Um there was a time where I, um, where it was back in 20, it was back in 2010, 2011, I believe. And I was having a argument with my girlfriend and I kept a knife under my bed. So I pulled out the the knife and I, um, yeah. So, um, and, um, but it's not just limited to, so far it's not limited to sharp objects. You can use your fists to self harm it as well. I I know this because um, I was in a depressed, angry mood one time, and um, <laughs> I took um, I took hook a fist and I punched myself in my cheek. Okay, I took a fist and I punched myself in my cheek and I punched myself in my jaw. And, um, and, um, I don't know some, I don't know how somehow, some way this got bought up while I was at the dentist one day. I told told her about that. She says, hey, I told told her about that. She's like, hey, punch a wall or something, but don't punch yourself in, in your jaw or in your cheekbone. (laughs) <laughs> so yeah I don't know how exactly that got bought up at the end of this but yeah but yeah um, those are just some of my alternatives to self harm um, some of the other ways that are alternatives to self harm um Also, I want to discuss um, what burn, what burn, burnout is like. Um, you no, know, we all get burn, or you no, know, we all get burned out by jobs. Pro athletes get burned out from listening to coaches <laughs> or whatnot. Um, but burnout can look like little to no motivation, insomnia, 
emotionally overwhelmed, amplified anxiety, exhaustion, and being easily triggered. Okay. And burnout can be a lot more heavier when you're dealing with mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, suicidal ideation, okay? These can look like, these can just add to what feels like a 20,000 pound weight you're having on your shoulder or you feel like, or you feel so heavy that you feel like, that your body feels like you're carrying like an extra 5,000 pounds of depression, anxiety, and burnout, okay? And so you're carrying all of these uh, things. And um, on top of that, you're burnt out from life. You're burnt out from your job. You're burnt out from fighting these intrusive ne negative thoughts every day that you... um. that you been trying to keep at bay. Um, you gotta manage your mental health symptoms 24 seven. You no, know, you really have no off days when you're dealing with uh, mental health issues, okay? Um, you may have, you may have several hours off, <laughs> okay? You may have several hours off from, um, from depression and anxiety, but you no, know, it's always there. And it can pop back up at any time. Um, also, it's okay not to be okay. And I know somebody needs to hear this. It's okay not to be okay. Um, life is gonna get, life is gonna get better. It may not get better right away. It may not get better right away, but if you don't get hip up and you keep working at it, it's eventually gonna, life is eventually gonna be better. Okay. Just don't get hip up. And so um, I saw this um, 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline resources. Of course, you can um, text or call 988. Um, you can chat at the 988lifeline.org slash chat. That's chat nine. That's blah, blah, that's 988lifeline.org slash chat. Okay. Um, Spanish. Um, you can you can call 988 press two or text um, a y u d a to 988. Okay. Um, Veterans, call nine eight eight, and um, you can um, press one. So um, those are just some of the things that you you can do. Also saw this interesting post. Um, self care is about giving the world the best of you instead of what's left of you. Okay, the giving the best of you instead of what's left of you. Okay, so. Essentially, what that means is when you when you are 100 percent charged. Um, you can give the best that you have. To the world. Instead of. Um, being at 30 percent and giving what's left of you. OK. Um, you can give your best at 100 percent. But um, what's left of you, 30%, you're not going to give your best effort. Um, you're not going to give the best effort of yourself, so to speak. Okay. And so, um, again, I talked, talked about this a few videos ago. Springtime is right around the corner. Um, and suicide rates are about to spike. Okay. Suicide rates are about how to spike. Um, it's unfortunate, but this is around the time of the year where the weather gets warmer. Um, 
people spend a lot more time out, outside as opposed to um winter time when people who were severely depressed didn't have the energy to go through with if it and sometimes that can be a good thing okay in an indirect way it can be a good thing that you don't have the energy to in your life in an indirect way okay but um but um no 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 I got think hang on that hell for for a sec I got think hang on that hell for for a sec um This kind of, that's a real tree, icky one right there. That's a, that's a slip, that's a slippery slope. Um, when you don't have the energy to end your life, um, then um, as opposed to the spring summer months, where where suicide rates spike, um. That can be a bit of a slippery slope right right there. Yeah. It really can. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. But um hey. Let's continue to eliminate stigma. Okay. Let's continue to eliminate stigma. Let's continue to have real conversations. Let's continue to be the voice. Um, don't push away people who are suicidal. Um, you push them away. You just might push them over the edge. Okay. So. Something else that I wanted to get to. Um. um Again, we lose over eight hundred thousand people in the in the world to suicide. Okay, talking about mental illness is not attention seeking. People die in silence due every day to the judgment. Okay, every four forty seconds, every four forty seconds, someone ends your life, and every forty one seconds, the people are. They left behind are left to make sense of what happened. They wish they saw the uh, signs. Well, should have saw all the signs when they came to you and you pushed them away. And then they end their lives. And then you turn around and say, well, I wish I saw all the signs. They showed you signs. They came to you. The one that you love, the the one that they love, came to you. Okay? So, suicide prevention begins with all, all of us. Suicide prevention is a team game. Um, so, talk about mental health. Check in on your friends. Be kind. All right? That's it. That's all for the Sean Farrell Podcast. I am out of here. God bless. 9888. There's always hope. You can text or call 988. You can go on <clears throat> 988lifeline.org slash chat. Okay. Alright. You you are loved and you are matter. You loved and you you are matter. Blooper. Um you're loved and you matter, okay? But that's it. And that's all. I'm out of here. May God bless you all. Peace. See y'all on the next one.